Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a little special package. I've got this from the States and I'm gonna use a sharp pointy thing to open it. So I've got just a couple of minutes before I've got a an appointment. So I thought we can just open it together quickly. Oh, look at that. All the way from the States. I'm so happy it's in one piece. Hopefully the rest inside is as well. So let's turn it over. As you can see, the box did have some damage. So hopefully it's just the outside. Even the underside is gorgeous. So right now Smart Art doesn't exist anymore. It's now Muse Kits. Um, they shipped it with FedEx and there was a lot of issues with those. I'm still handling those, but at least we've got our package. Let's open it up. Even the wrapping paper is amazing. So I'm just going to check if everything is okay. And then we'll go through it um, in a moment. I've got the instructions. And I know there's a code inside, so I'm not going to show. Ah, see here, now it's Muse Kids. And I think there's no big explosion inside. I don't see any gypsum anywhere so i think i'm good i'm going to get everything out and i will show you what's in the box uh, let's start with this nice silicone mat it has centimeters and it has inches i would have liked to see round numbers in the centimeters but i guess because most use um, the inches in the states where it's produced they went with the inches we got this cute sticker really nice and holographic the permastone i've never used this i don't even know if you can get it here and we've got the mold it's really sturdy and it's really heavy kind of want to know how heavy over half a kilo that's really heavy jackie you missed your mark here you could have done 666 it feels nice and sturdy it also has the trademark on here that's a good job so i got the sharp pointy thing but i didn't get any refills these are the silicone tools with the bowl styluses on the other side. The one that's a little bit longer, not round, so more oval. I'm really interested to see how that one works because I don't have one of those. Got some nice brushes. Missing a cap, I think. Then you have these tools. Come in a little box. These are really, really pretty. Got a measuring cup and some popsicle sticks. Got the little silicone, what you call it thing, to mix up the plaster. Some wire, a little mixing tray, some fouls. I would have liked 280 on one side and maybe like 180 on the other side or maybe even 100. This is a little mixing or pouring cup. I'm keeping the silicone items in their plastic because they like to collect dust. This is a silicone tray that you can use as a base. This is the wing mold. So then you have this little turntable. It's actually pretty smooth. I've got some cosplay clear bonds. I think this is the glue for the clay. Then we have the deco art base paint. This is the little pouring funnel, elastic bands. This is our little container for the clay. It's actually pretty deep. So we've got a big log of cosplay. We have the paint set. These are the colors. So it comes with this airbrush and as you can see it's not that big it is quite heavy though and i couldn't find the weight of the airbrush anywhere so let's just see so 239 grams so it's not the heaviest thing but i'm really hoping i can hold it for long enough with my hands to use it it actually came already charged so that's really nice so I know it works. Thing, I think that's everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch uh, the extra videos that came with the kit. And then I'm going to pour my figurine and let it set overnight. And then I'll be back probably tomorrow. And we will do some uh, molding. I don't think you want to see me pouring this. This is going to be messy. But yeah, I can't wait. So let's put the plaster in the little cup. Hopefully it won't go everywhere. And they said to go to 200 mils. You're not supposed to compact it, so you're not supposed to bang it down. So I'm just wiggling it from side to side to see how far I'm at. I'm almost there, just a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, but the line is right there. So this should be enough. They made this resealable, but I think I'm going to put another bag uh, over it just in case. I don't want to get any moisture to go inside. Now we are supposed to just dunk it in here. Oh, got a hair. 
So now we have to get three ounces of water. I have no clue what an ounce is. Guess it's to here. That's not a lot of water. So now comes the exciting part. I already put the rubber bands on my mold. No, Jackie, I didn't forget. And I put all the rubber bands. This is fun. Can you hear? That's so fun. I really hope I didn't put too much water. It's really hard to mix actually. I can feel there's a lot of plaster still on this bottom. So let's just mix this and I'll be right back. So I've got a feeling I've got everything mixed. It says schmoosh and stir. There's still a couple of little lumps in there. I can feel it's starting to thicken. It's actually pretty um, hard to stir in the beginning. So I used a popsicle stick to get it loose because this is really flexible and I couldn't just get all of it from the bottom. Looks nice and runny. So I used every single elastic band that I could find in the kit and I made a big rubbery mess, but I'm hoping it's all good. I checked all the seams, couldn't find anything that's really loose. So hopefully we won't get any leakage. You never know. So we need to pour this in here. I'm not sure if it's going to pour nicely, but I do feel like we need to hurry because it's starting to thicken up. Oh, this is scary. Okay, let's just dump it. Oh, there's a big lump. It's looking like it's already setting. Wow. So we need to put it on its hind legs. Oh, they weren't kidding when they said this sets up fast. I really don't know how much to pour. There's, they said there should be enough for the base and the figurine. So maybe it's already full. It looks like it's full. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Well, I tilted it everywhere it could go, so let's see if that's good enough. And I got some wings made up and I wanted to make a little stone for the hoof to balance on. So I'm gonna pour that first. Pour some in here. No, oh, that's way too much. Well, I rather sand a lot of it off than not have enough. And I didn't use the cosplay uh, because I didn't want to open it for uh, just a little bit of the wings. So I decided to use a little bit of polymer clay I already had and made a mistake with the wire in the center. And that's why I added some extra. This stuff goes off quick. So if you do this, make sure your molds are ready because you saw me mixing it and pouring. So it takes literally like maybe minutes for it to start setting should we just nah it's fine so oh, oh no oopsie it's fine i've got the extra little cup i'm gonna use for the leg i've got my mold all finished a pair of wings i'm not even sure if i'm gonna use them i don't think so but at least i've got some and this is all i had left over so i think that that went perfectly so i'm gonna clean this up and um i'm gonna be back uh, in an hour to remove the sides and then another hour and then I'm going to remove the middle part so I'll be back in about an hour so it's been an hour and I'm not sure if my figurine is ready so because it's quite cold in this room uh, so let's try the wings and I'll mold these and see how that goes I'm just going to try and get them not too bad could be worse probably not going to use this but hopefully the rest is better A lot of bubbles but we made it uh, while it's already a little bit thicker so that could explain the bubbles so this one i think i'm going to have to peel the sides off but this is a good indicator if i'm able to already get the sides of my mold so this is going to be my little extra piece to balance my hoof on if i need it i think we can unmold this so let's just take off all the rubber bands well we're not going to unmold it all the way we're just going to do a partial unmold it's really really heavy i really hope it works the first time there's enough of gypsum in this set to make multiples so it's not the worst thing if it doesn't work the first time, but it would be nice to get a nice mold on the first try. I've never done this before. I never worked with gypsum before. So, so we're going to see which side wants to... Oh. That popped off real easy. Okay. Let's try the other side. Okay, 
you can see it's still really really wet but we got two legs on that side and it's really it's still warm oh we got four legs i'm so happy and not even that much of an air bubble we've got a couple but for a first go i'm not mad at it so now we're gonna have it sit for another hour and then we can wiggle out the center i didn't expect it to be this tiny it's it's still warm gonna let it sit for at least an hour and then we'll unmold and see if we can keep the legs i'm really hoping this leg is not gonna break because there's a big bubble here two hours later so i waited an hour felt really really wet so i let it sit for another hour and i think we're good to go for removing the center part and i'm gonna go just slowly try and get it to go i'm not sure about this leg so i think i'm going to hold it this way and start to wiggle and see if i can get it to release without breaking the leg it's super tight Oh, that's nerve-wracking. Oh, it's a small bubble, so that should be fine. Now let's see if we can get the back legs to release without breaking one of the front legs. And it's all out. So here we have our figurine. Going to have to do a lot of cleanup. So, but no bubbles here. So that's really nice. And not a lot of bubbles here either. Like nothing here. A little bit here. This side is almost smooth. So I'm really happy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up. I'm going to patch the bigger holes. And I'm gonna think about how I wanted to do this because I'm, I was thinking about making a centaur that would mean I'm going to have to get rid of the head because this would be torso and then the arms would be coming from these holes I think then we still need to get a head and a neck on top but I really have to think about my proportions so I'll the next time you see this it's going to at least be cleaned up and I'll show you a design I want to make Hi everyone, welcome back to me. I just wanted to have a quick chat about this awesome kit. So I bought this kit a couple months ago and it arrived two weeks ago. And as you can see in the previous part that I showed you, I already started making a project and I'm going to show you what it ends up in another video and I'm gonna link it up here in the eye or down below in the description. I just wanted to do a short little video with me starting with the kit, unboxing it and then telling you what I actually think of it. So I'm going to put up what's in the kit on this side of the screen and I'm gonna show you what I already own on this side of the screen. So let's start with the first big item. And that is a silicone mold and a turning table. Then we have our little mixing bowl. And if you want the same that's in the kit, just go a dog, collapsible dog bowl and you will find the same one that's in the kit. I actually prefer a hard one because I'm kind of clumsy and the one that just tends to fall down if I push on the rim too much. Then I've got a little measuring cup that I can pour water from. You need a little funnel. I've got the bigger size and I've got a smaller one. And to stir, I've got a spatula. And this is a nice and sturdy. So if you want to remove the lumps, it's really nice to push at. And if you need a smaller one, I use these reusable popsicle sticks. And you can just clean them in between and you don't have to throw them out. Pouring cups, silicone pouring cups. So I've got this one. And for the base, they use a silicone mold. And I've got a quite similar one I use for making resin coasters. Then you have the polymer clay. I've got this brand and I've got a cheaper brand that I have in all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, I prefer to use um, the cheaper one. Um, why? Because it's a, a little bit softer. For the clay, you have the clay glue or a sort of bacon bond. This is the brand I use. The silicone tools. These are the bigger ones I have. I also have a set that is really, really tiny. So the silicone tools that come in the kit have these um, ball tools at the end. So I've got the same. Um, these have on both sides different uh, sizes, so from big to really, really small. And then you have the kit with the three rainbow tools. And those are, I think, clay tools. And I own a kit that has a lot of different shapes to it. We cannot forget the sharp pointy thing. Some armature wire, some sanding paper, 
So I got these little blocks that I also use for my nail art and these have a coarse and a fine side and then a normal 180 grit. So before you want to do anything like airbrushing or painting, you want to put a base coat on. So this is what I could use for a base coat. A brush set. These are just a couple of brushes I own. I've got many, many brushes. Then you have the mixing bowl for the paints. And I use this tray because it has a lid and it doesn't dry out the paints as quickly. Then you have the airbrush kit, kit and that has the airbrush paints in it. So if you don't want to airbrush, you can use normal paints. Uh, I do paint pouring, so I already own a lot of paint, but this is just as an example. As a varnish for the airbrush, I already own one. Uh, this I actually use as my varnish for the blooms. So as you can see, I already own about 80-85% of all the parts that are in this kit. Um, I'm going to put on the prices I paid here in euros and in dollars. And as you can see, that's a lot of money for just the mold, the airbrush and the airbrush paint. So if you are a beginner, yes, go buy this. It's awesome. You can make really cool projects with it and everything is included. If you are already a big crafter like me, I'm not sure if it is worth your money. Please, Jackie, if you make this again or anything similar, Try and make two kits, so one for a beginner and one for somebody that's already crafting or that already owns your first or your second kit. Because there's a lot of double stuff in there that's a lot of money and you don't need it. Because the products are there, they're good quality, they're going to last you for a lifetime, why buy it again? Would I buy another kit from her? Yes, if it doesn't include everything I already own. Otherwise, I'm probably going to leave it. So this was my little short unboxing video with the first part of my making off. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you'd like to see me make my creature, uh, you can go and watch it here. I put a link up here or down in this description. If you have any questions, just leave them down below uh, in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!